During the mid-1940s, goalies were still not using proper catching gloves, and they were batting down pucks practically barehanded. During his summers, Emile the Cat Francis played baseball in the province of Saskatchewan for the North Battleford Beavers. During the winters, he was a goalie, and during the 1945-46 season, while playing for the Moose Jaw Canucks of the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League, he decided to take a Rawlings George McQuinn first baseman's glove to a shoemaker and have them sew the cuff from a hockey glove onto it, and the first ever goalie's catching glove was born. Francis was called up to the Chicago Blackhawks during the 1946-47 season. During the warm-up before a game against the Detroit Red Wings, Wings coach and general manager Jack Adams called X-Star player and now NHL referee King Clancy over to the bench. After speaking with Adams, Clancy skated over and told Francis that he can't wear the glove because it's illegal. Francis said he didn't have another glove with him. That's the only one he has. Since they didn't have backup goalies in those days, and they would have had to bring in an emergency goalie, Francis was allowed to wear the glove. He wound up meeting with league president Clarence Campbell a few days later at league headquarters, which was then in Montreal. Campbell approved the glove, and about a month later, CCM and Rawlings started to manufacture them. Soon after that, all goalies started wearing the precursor to today's gloves. In the 1970s, goaltender Mike Palmatier added a cheater that went from the outside of the thumb to the outside of a protective slab that was added to the wrist, giving the catching glove the basic shape we know today. 